Hello Grade 8 Learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung bago ka pala sa channel ko, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the post notification bell para updated ka every time na magpo-post ako ng bagong video. So ito ang continuation video natin about right triangle congruence but this time we are going to prove statements on right triangle congruence. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood yung last video ko, so much better na mas maintindihan nyo muna yung concept or what are the theorems under ng right triangle congruence para magamit nyo in proving statements like this one. So, gagamitin natin yung right triangle congruence theorem in proving the statement. So, we are going to prove whether the two given right triangles are congruent by applying the theorem. So, I have here the illustration that we are going to use. And for our given, so it says here that BD, so segment BD is the perpendicular bisector of segment AC. So, since it says here that it is a perpendicular bisector and perpendicular forms a right, tri, uh, right angles. So, since BD and AC intersect at a certain at a certain point which is point D so we can say that it forms a right angles so we have here angle B D A and angle B D C are right angles of the uh, of the two right triangles and then we are going to prove whether triangle A B D so A B D is congruent with triangle CBD. So we are going to use a two column proof because we cannot prove these two triangles by only inspection. So we have uh, we need to write all the statements and all the reasons that will support to prove whether the two triangles are congruent. So let's start. So we will be starting with the given. So segment BD is the perpendicular bisector of segment AC. And our reason for that is given. Then from that statement, so we can say that D is the midpoint of segment AC. Again, D is the midpoint of segment AC. So, meaning to say that it separates the two segments into two congruent parts, which is AD and DC, which are congruent. So, our reason for that is definition of perpendicular bisector. So, we have here the definition of perpendicular bisector. From that statement, we can say that since D is the midpoint of segment AC, and as what I've told you, it divides the segment into two equal parts or congruent parts, so we can say that AD is congruent with DC. So, AD is congruent with DC. And our reason is the definition of midpoint. Then for number 4, segment BD is congruent with segment BD. So kung mababansin nyo, itong two triangles ay nagsishare ng common segment which is BD. So, itong pinaka-center. So, we can say that BD is congruent with segment BD and our reason is reflexive property. Of congruence. So, that is reflexivity. So, let us continue, but 
kung titingnan natin yung ating illustration, we can now say that the two triangles are congruent through inspection because the two legs of the given uh, two triangles are congruent. So, meron na lang tayong kulang na statement kasi nga, we are proving statements under ng right triangle congruent. So, sabihin muna natin na ang two triangles na ito ay congruent. And since we have here perpendicular by sector na nilagay ko na yung markings na it forms two right triangles. So, meron tayong na form na right angles. So, which are So, lagay natin dito sa ating statement number 5. Angle A, D, B. So, ito yan. Angle A, D, B. And angle C, D, B. So, angle C, D, C, D, B are right angles. Yeah, so therefore, we can say that the two triangles are right triangles. And our reason for that is definition of perpendicular bisector. And then for number 6, we can now say that triangle ABD is congruent with triangle CBD by LL theorem. And so supported by 3 and 4. So, that's how we prove statements on right triangle congruence. So, ang importante lang dito ay marami kayong mga alam na mga terminologies or concepts. So, na ginagamit, just like yung ginamit natin kanina na perpendicular by sector. We have here mga reflexivity and etc. So, napakaraming mga properties na pwede nyong i-apply dito. So, kung nagustuhan nyo itong video na to, give this video a thumbs up at pwede, at pwede nyo rin siyang share. And see you on our next video lesson. So, thank you for watching!